Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and we're back to our normal playthrough. We are in the very next episode. We're going to continue with the storyline. And this is 4.22 now. So there's been a patch update with 4.2. So just so you know about it. So again, we really just arrived and established our base here. So that's as far as we've gotten. It's telling us to check the computer. So we're going to access the log from previous user. Entry 4925D follows. Storm sweeping across. Construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while need to back soon. Wonder what all that means. So let's extract the plans. So we're getting plans for wooden base, uh, main base uh, items at this point. And let's see what else we've got. So we need to do this because we're about to get a storm. Even though we're on a paradise planet, we always get that first storm. So we're going to start creating our base. We're going to make it kind of small. One, two, three, and four. That should be enough. Let's make some walls. Hopefully we have enough. We can only build one. We're going to need more carbon. And I knew that was going to happen. So where's the closest trees? Let's go over this way. I think this will be good. We should analyze it, but we're just going to go ahead and get the carbon for now, because we're really in desperate need of carbon. Because it's about to get really nasty out here soon. Then we're going to need some ferrite, I believe. Alright, do we have any rocks that we can gather up real quick? Here we do. Okay. I think we had enough ferrite to begin with, so... Alright, let's try to build the rest of this up real fast here. Put another wall right there. Another one right here. 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 And here. Okay, we need to make a door. Let's do it there. See, it needs pure ferrite, so we need to do that real quick. Uh, ferrite, ferrite, ferrite. Oh, good. Let's get the roof put on in the meantime. Looks like we can only build five of them. One, two, three, and four. We're good. We just need to make a door. And we're going to go ahead and move it inside with us. So we should. There we go. And there we are. Sorry, i got to keep clearing my throat for some reason. So we're going to put back the uh, little portable refiner back down over here so we have it. Now, something you did probably didn't know, what you can do with the base computers now is if you go into your build menu and hit the letter C, you can actually target it and select it and then move it inside with you. See? And now we have it inside. And it'll just open up in here. There you go. So, it tells us to go back to the base computer. So we're going to do that. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvaged data from nearby Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices beginning search. We're going to extract the plans. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans, and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Okay. So, construction research unit is the next thing we get. Okay. And we need to gather up a lot of items. So, we need this. So we need a carbon nanotube and magnetized ferrite. Now we get magnetized ferrite by refining. Not ferrite dust, which we can start with, but it's the pure ferrite. And it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So we need 20 of it, right? Oh yeah, we kind of need to put some carbon in there to charge it up. Let's go ahead and do that. We're almost out of carbon. We need 20 of it. There we go. 
Now we should be able to make that. Now we need more carbon because we have to make carbon nanotubes. Now there should be one more outburst of storm. We should get one more storm that should come upon us and then that should be it. Can we, uh... Oh yeah, that is carbon there. Good. How much carbon did we get? 29, huh? Not quite enough. We need 50. But those plants are carbon. That's good. Not just a decorative item on the planet. Okay, that's just ferrite. There we go. That should be enough. All right. Obviously, we're going to need more carbon, so we'll be keeping an eye open for more later. So let's make our construction unit. Put it right next to that. See? Another storm. So if we have salvage data, do we have any on us? Yes, yes, we have 14. We can spend it here. So, analysis use unit online. Diagnostic suggestion. Users should recover salvage data from buried technology. Equip and utilize an analysis visor. So, we already got the analysis visor. We've already gotten buried technology. We can get more. So, we're going to research buildable technology. So, let's take a look. So, we can get ourselves a base teleport module, which we would like to get. Let's go ahead and get that. And let me see. We need a fuel reactor. So, we need something to power it. So, we're going to go ahead and get that. Wiring's free. And we'll hold off on the rest of this. We could use a battery, and I think I have enough, right? 11? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. And we have enough to get our solar panels. Let's go ahead and get a solar panel, too, because those are handy. Okay. Glad I gathered up that, uh, that gold, huh? So now it tells us your base can be renamed, so we're going to do that next. And it says Neptune Colony, so you know what? I'm going to change it to Neptune with an E and maybe do it right Neptune Elon Paul colony okay there we go and we're not going to capture a screen based shot yet but we, we went ahead and changed it let's see what happens so it's telling us we need to craft the base teleport module so we're going to do that uh, so Z, we're going to go over here, and there it is. So we need four metal plates and two carbon nanotubes. Now, we have enough to make the metal plates. We do not have enough carbon. So let's step out into our wonderful storm here. Let's find some plants to gather up some carbon from. Well, our thermal protection is falling. Now, again, this should be the last storm. That was ferrite dust. more plants can't see a thing hopefully the storm will be over soon that was oxygen how interesting a little bit more I have no idea what I'm shooting at here See if we can reach some of these trees. Looks like we can. Because we need about a hundred carbon. Well, the storm's over. What do you know? Let's get one more, because we could always use the carbon again. Yep, looks like we got it. Okay. Let's head back over here. My base is on the other side. Okay. So, we need to make the teleport module. So, you need to craft four metal plates. Let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. And we need two carbon nanotubes. There we go. So, construct it. There we go. We got plenty of sodium, right? So we'll put it right there. Okay. Now, it doesn't do anything for us because we have to supply power to it. So let's go ahead and do like it's telling us to. We need to supply power. How do we do that? Uh, let's see. This looks like the power icon. So it wants us to do the biofuel reactor. We are going to do that. We will eventually make a solar panel too. But let's do the biofuel reactor. We need to make a metal plate. 
And then let's get our biofuel reactor set up here. There we go. We want to provide an electrical wire from it to our teleport module. And now we need to power it. So what are we going to power it with? Uh, we do have plenty of oxygen right now. Let's go ahead and use that. And that's going to keep it powered for 50 hours. We're good. So congratulations, we supplied power. So good deal. Now if we want to, believe it or not, we can set up a solar panel as well. We just need one more metal plate. I'm not sure how much gold we have. Let me check here. I think it's in our starship. All right, let's see, 110. And how much does it take to build one of these? 30. So let's make two metal plates. We've got plenty of chromatic metal right now. There we go. We'll make one, and you can put them inside, believe it or not. It's not going to cause you problems. So go ahead and create them, put them inside or outside, wherever you want to put them. I'm just going to put them in here for the show of it. And I'm going to leave enough room because I do want to make a battery. It takes magnetized ferrite and condensed carbon. So we need 200 carbon to make 100 condensed carbon. And 60 magnetized ferrite. I do want one battery. So let's do... Let's see here. Yeah, let's do that. So we need 60. So we need 120 pure ferrite. All total. We have a little extra in our inventory. So if we hit the X, we can go to our pure ferrite. We need four more. There we go. 60 pure. A uh, 60 magnetized. But I need more carbon yet again. So let's go find some plants to shoot. Okay. Decent amount of carbon there. Yeah, can't get to that. Looks like we got some copper over there, so that's good and handy. Ah, that tree should have plenty of carbon in it. That should get us the rest of what we need, I think. Now, that takes how much? 100, so we need 200 carbon. How much do we have? 388. Okay, I think we have enough for now. Let's go ahead and do it. And then we'll hit our computer up. Now the battery stores energy. And that is very important. Um, let me see here. Yeah, we need to go back in here. Let's get our magnetized ferret. And carbon, carbon, carbon. There you are. Again, we need... Six. There we go. Now let's get that going. And then we'll make the battery. So it stores the power that was being made by both the biofuel reactor and by the solar panels. So while we're gone, that will help keep the portal powered up when we need it. There we go. And let's make that battery. We'll put it right next to everybody over here. And let's put the wire and connect everybody together, shall we? And finally, there. Okay, and you'll see that it's storing power now. And this battery can store up to, I think, 50,000, is it? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so that's good. It'll keep it going for a while. And then when the sun comes out, these two will start powering this even more, and will give more of a charge to the battery. And that way, when this runs out of power, these all three will keep this portal going for us. All right, let's check out the base computer. Accessing log from previous user, additional archives recovered. Entry 4925F follows. Scanner detected unusual broadcast, repeating 16 from the space station. Warning, end of archive, records interrupted. The base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor seems to have left their base and headed to the space station. So guess where we're going? Time to go to the space station. Now how much money we got? Not quite five million. May not be enough to get ourselves a ship, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Got enough of that, enough of that. We've got dihydrogen. Okay, I think we're all set. So 
So let's go ahead and up to the space station. Maybe we can get a better ship one of these days. I would love to find some wrecks or something like that. And I'll show you a little trick on that, especially if you want to get a decent ship and then start repairing it little by little. All right. It's directing us to the space station. As you can see, there it is. Now, you have to go to the space station at least once. Now, we're going to recharge it with some pyrite. Now, I know we were there in an earlier episode selling a ship, but normally at this point you would not have um, been to the space station yet. So now that we're going there for the first time, we'll be able to teleport back and forth. So the first trip to the space station is long, but then going back and forth between your base and the space station and back again real quick. So no problems. Boy, I'd love to find that there's a planet in the system that had... Uh, up sentinels on it. We can find ourselves a sentinel ship then. Okay. I'm just going to go to first person for a second. I want to check something out. Scan that planet. Copper, gold, and cobalt. So that means they have, a, they have gold deposits there. Oh, we already know that. That's the planet we started on. What's this one? I can get just lined up with it. There we go. It's a moon. Salvageable scrap, and it's frozen. Okay, we got dioxide there, so we can use that. And that seems to be all that we got here. So let's head into the space station and... Land our butts in here. So now we did find that one ship. Of course, we got money for it and everything like that, but it really wasn't the kind of ship I like to get. Well, looks like we got some ships in here. So we got a hauler. Looks like we have an explorer. Explorers are good ships. Don't particularly like the incongruity of that ship. I like it to be very even. What about you? A class, 13 million. It's a nice ship, but uh, yeah, no, I don't have 13 million to spend on it. And this this little bad boy is not worth enough. All right. So what do we got? Plenty of items on us. There's not enough in the starship to sell off. We do have a storage augmentation. Some of those guys. We got some gold. We got some silver. We got uranium, pyrite. Okay, yeah, there's not much going on there. So what we could do is we could wait for another ship and we could see what we can find. See, these are worth six million, and that one's always gonna be expensive. Haulers are always very pricey. All right, and this boy is worth nine million. Yeah, so we don't really have any money to do anything yet. So let's get up here, talk to some people. We'll continue on with our mission. And I missed the platform. Let's try that again. I'm stuck under the platform. Let's try it one more time. Hey, we can do this. We can do it. Hey, we did it. Okay, let's talk to the Corvax here. Uh, yeah, good Good luck with that one. Despite their unfamiliar words, there's something about the aliens, this alien's manner that implies we have met before. Perhaps they know the one who came before me. Ask about other travelers. Lifeborn pauses before turning away. They either did not hear me or are choosing to ignore my question. Okay, so we talked to one. Uh, what do we got over here? Hey, that one's worth 4.1 million. Let's see, 25 plus 15. Mine is 25 plus 13. So it's got a little more room on that ship. And I can afford to buy it if I wanted to. Definitely not that. Let's see, is it at least the same on both sides? No, that is so annoying. I can't stand ships that look like that. I'm sorry. You're going to go for a ship with Mazel. Maybe we'll find another crashed one. I'll show you a little trick behind that. Let's talk to another person. Hey, here's one. Uh, yep, good luck with that. The alien's elegant metallic shell springs to life as I approach. They study me, lights flashing around their visor. Perhaps they know something about the messages left at the base computer. Ask about 16. A glazed look passes over the life form's visor. The number has had some strange effect on them. They seem reluctant to speak further. Okay, let's talk to a Gek. Gestapo, whatever. Yeah, yeah, let's just move on. The life form chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. 
The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. I'll leave. All right. Now, I don't know if we can do this now, but let me see. This may just continue when they may say go away. Charts, hand-drawn sketches, they bubble excitedly, keen to share their data hoard. Blah, blah, blah. Ask for help. Exchange specific charts. Now, see, this is where I was getting to. So let's do specific charts, and I'm going to do planetary charts like this. Now, I have seven uh, items I can trade. So I'm going to get three charts. I'm going to hope for a crashed ship that will come in handy for me, okay? Because I think that's the way we're going to go here. I'd love to buy a ship. Honestly, I really would. But just a touch pricey for me. And nothing I'm really liking, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And move on. Now, before I go anywhere, I'm going to turn around and go back for a second. Remember the teleport module I set up? It says to use visit the base computer. But it says you ar use archives to decrypt the code acquired from the space station. But it doesn't tell you how to get back to your, sh to, to your base. It tells you just, you know, you figure you're just going to fly there, right? Actually, your best option is to take the teleporter at the space station, which I should have done before. So this is my fault. This is why we're delayed. I apologize. Okay, and we still didn't make it. I keep forgetting because I'm used to playing my main save that has, like, infinite uh, uh, jetpack life, just about. At least in comparison. Okay, teleporter. We can go one place. The Neptune Alon Paul Colony. Let's go. And how quickly is it? Let's find out, shall we? Hmm, this one's taking a little longer than I expected. I actually expected to be there already. There we go. And ta-da! So now we can go over here and visit our base computer. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding 161616. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Well, okay then. <laughs> so we're going to use our ship. You'll notice it's not there though. Why is that? Because when you view land back on the planet, unless you have your own landing pad, it will park your ship elsewhere. So, we have to hope our ship has launch fuel, which it does. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to get in the ship. And before I go to that spot that it wants me to go to, we're going to go into our inventory here and use one of these three planetary charts. And it looks like it found, if you see that red building in the distance, it found us, found us an abandoned building. That's a handy. I can get something from there, but I don't want that. So I'm going to actually use another chart. I'm not going to go there yet. Uh, where'd it go? And what did it find this time? A distress signal. And where would that be? That's over here. So we can visit that abandoned building at another time. And it looks like it's eight minutes away. So I'm going to actually go out into space and see if we can get ourselves a halfway decent ship here, right? There we go, and we're coming in. And maybe, if we're fortunate, we'll get ourselves maybe a fighter. Maybe we'll get one of those uh, explorer crafts, that would be nice. And I'll settle for what we get here, that's kind of nice. If it's a hauler, I'm probably not going to get it. I like something a little more manu maneuverability. Let's see what it is. As we get closer, it should pop in. Unless it's a ship I already got. Well, I'll be. It's a ship I already got. Oh, you are terrible. Okay, so we're going to have to stop here. Oh, that's terrible. That can happen, guys. So we got we to gotta register that we've been here. Let it register it. Hold on. destination reached. Okay, so we can do this one more time. Now, if you do it when you're not in your ship, watch what happens. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't find anything else. I hope it doesn't find a freighter. If it finds a freighter... Okay, distress signal. We're in good shape. Because those are the three things that will usually find. Either an abandoned building, 
a freighter or a crashed ship. Looks like we have another crashed ship that we can go to. Okie dokie. Let's go that way. Really anxious to find a decent ship here. Sorry. We'll give this a few more minutes. We've got about five minutes left to our episode. There we go. 16 minutes away. 17 minutes. Let's go up into space and we'll take the shortcut. As I like to call it. And we're running low on the launch fuel. So we're going to have to make some more as we arrive. Oh, no, we don't. There you go. Isn't that handy? And we can get some more from the space station or something like that, too. So, All right. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's hope for a decent ship. Come on, baby. Give me something nice. Uh, what do we have here? It looks like a hauler again. But, kind of a nicer, sleeker one. I might just take it. I don't know. At the very least, it'll give us some good, some decent money. Ah, uh, C-Class. Not worth much. Probably get about $2 million for it. Okay. Let's go to this, because we'll always get something good out of it. Interior of the downed craft is a patchwork of technologies, possibly scavenged from multiple ships. The portly corpse of a dead-beaked life form sprawls on the control panel. Clearly, the deceased had a penchant for finer things in life. The cargo hold is secured by some kind of homemade security system. Like the rest of the ship, it's a mishmash of technologies. Deactivating it could be tricky. So, we could go to the cargo hold, or we could search the pilot. So, I'm thinking, let's go to the cargo hold and see what we could find. We're probably going to get injured, but that's okay. Bypassing three layers of security, I open the cargo hold only to be knocked down by a shockwave of energy. Scanning the enclosure, I see the pain is worth it. So we got the economy scanner now. That's excellent. We can use that. But see, I got injured, so it is what it is. But now we can take whatever's in the ship. Let's see what we got. So we got some damage here. Both of these are damaged as usual, the pulse and launch. Sometimes you get lucky and one of them is still repaired. There's a photon cannon already on board the ship. And it's actually in operational status. Uh, let me see here. I don't know. It's kind of worth it. Let's go ahead and claim it. We can at least, like I said, sell it. And we need that. We need we need hermetic seal, so we need some condensed carbon. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we need, we got pure ferrite, and we do have a dihydrogen gel. Okay, so we just need the hermetic seal, so we need 30 condensed carbon. Let's see, is there any condensed carbon around, by the way? Let's do a scan real quick, quick. Uh, what you're looking for is something that says C+, but probably not. Got some sodium, oh, right there, right there. I can't reach it, can I? Let's see if I can reach it now. I need an advanced mining laser now for, for for condensed carbon crystals. How interesting. Okay, so I'll remember that. I did not know. But guess what else we don't have? We don't have our... Yeah, we don't have it right now. We need our refiner, which we do not have. So we'll have to make that. We'll make another one. We need fuel. We don't need much. And we need to make... 30. So let's put that in here. Why am I putting oxygen in? I meant to put carbon in my bed. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Interesting. So we need 30 carbon. And we're just about at the half hour mark. Of course, it'll go a few minutes over as usual. No big deal. Okay. Make our hermetic seal, go to our starship, and fix it. So let's bring this to the space station and get it repaired. Uh, sold. That's the word I meant. We're going to hear that angry buzz buzz coming from it. Where is it? Oh, we don't want to go there. Where's the space station now? Let's get out in space.
Okay, space station. That way. Right there. So it takes about 50 seconds. Uh, we're using fuel in the ship. Is there anything we can get rid of? I don't think so. Yeah, it won't let us uh, delete that. So we're stuck with whatever's on the ship right now. So no big deal. It's a C class again. It says it's worth 11. Again, we'll get about two, two and a half, somewhere in that version. But still, that's you know more money than we had. I don't really want to keep the hauler. That's a lot of repair work to go into that. If it was a fighter, and like I said, possibly a explorer class, I might have kept it. Because the explorer class gets some really good long hyperspace jumps with some of the add-ons you can get. And the fighters, you know, they're kind of the same thing, but they're also handy in a, in a pinch, if you will. If you're being attacked by pirates or something. Okay, and here we are. Let's sell our ship. So that's how you can find crashed ships. That's a very simple way to do it, I guess. If you have the ability in your inventory to sell, to get rid of some of your navigation data. Now, I'm not going to get another one just yet, so I'm going to hold off on them. So we're going to go on with the main storyline right after we sell the ship in the next episode. So let me see how much money we get for this so we can end the episode on a high note. Boink. There we go. Uh, let's see. Claim scrap seat. 2.7 million. That's not bad. Two and three quarter. I'm going to claim the scrap. And we'll get some stuff that we need to sell. I think we've already hit this up last time. Okay, good. So we'll stop by him and we're going to not just uh, purchase something. We're actually going to sell that hyperdrive module, which we really don't need. C-Class isn't going to get us far, so I'm not really worried about it. But we get a couple extra nanites out of it. And while we're here... Let's stop by this lucky little guy over here and uh, sell what materials we just picked up from the selling of our ship. Um, offer to trade. Right. Sell. So, no, no, no. We want to keep the storage augmentation. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. So, they're down here. Spool nano cables at 349, 520, and the subatomic regulators at 1.9 million. And there we go. And that's 7.5 million we have now. So definitely a good amount of money. And we don't want to buy this ship because it's just too annoying. And yeah, they've just got a lot of haulers here. This is a promising system. So it's a two-star system, if you will, economy-wise. Based on a scale of one to three. So yeah, not the most promising of systems to get a decent ship from. But the thing is here is that everything that's landing here, as you can see, are haulers. And, uh, you know, you got this Explorer, which is, it's great. You know, those are nice, but not exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so we're going to end the episode here right now. This is Elon Paul signing off on this episode, and we'll pick you up on the next episode. Hope you enjoyed what you saw so far. Uh, please give it a thumbs up at the bottom there, that like button. And, hey, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Take care.